Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This week we are Pershing State Park in Laclede, Missouri. Yeah. Um, this is a Mother's Day hike that we did um, for for Kel. Two days after she had surgery, she was feeling well enough um, to do the hike. So we are we took this hike. This the first part is on a boardwalk. Yeah, it's a Locust Creek Boardwalk Trail. Re really neat trail. It's a perfect trail if you just want to do something a little easy. Um, it's great for us when we have Big Daddy with us. We didn't on this particular day, but his stroller fits perfect on the boardwalk. And um, it, he loves it. It's a pretty easy one for him. For, for our new subscribers that don't know, Big Daddy is our Australian kettle dog that is handicapped. Yeah, he's our cowboy corgi. One of three one of that three. we travel with. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this, this is a really beautiful hike. It's in a... Flood area? Yeah, and it's gorgeous every season, I've noticed. So winter, spring, summer, fall, it's really beautiful. And we'll be sure to post some pictures from um, different seasons up on our Galleon Adventures Facebook page. And if, um, if you're camping here, they do have some wonderful um, RV and tent sites that I hope will be opening soon. Now, this part right now, we switch over to the... Riparian Trail. Which is, which is, I've always liked this trail. It is flat. Yeah, it's There's, another it's flat It's not trail. a hard trail, mm -hmm. so anybody can do it. And this, at this time mm -hmm. of year, it was overgrown. Mm -hmm. um, but, man, it, it, it was fun. So I think it's a six-mile one-way, yes. in-and-out trail. Um, yeah, so that's six miles in, and you walk to a conservation area, and then you walk back. But there is a parking lot. Uh, we were told at the conservation area, yeah, which I don't, we haven't found that yet, but apparently you can park a car there and park your car and you just do the six miles. Yeah. But it's, it's a neat hike. Yeah, it is a really nice hike. It was really quiet to stay. We were the only people, um, it's, we're, I didn't see anybody else in the park at all. You didn't, you didn't see anybody else on the trail at all. It was really nice. It was, Real it was perfect. Uh, the bird sounds were amazing. Yeah. It was yeah. really enjoyable. It was, it was a perfect day for Mother's Day. I yeah, think. it was nice and quiet. I really needed to get outside and just do something to unwind a little bit and be in nature a little bit. Take a break from all the work we've been doing around the farm. Yeah, I did need a break. It was nice. So just down the road too, um, this park was named after General Pershing and just down the road in Laclede, Missouri, the town of Laclede, you can visit his um, his hometown and his home and I believe the school or church that he grew there's up in. There's a church there. Yeah, there's a historical site that you can visit as well. And again, that's just down the road off of Highway 36 in the town of Laclede. This town, or this park is so pretty. It's one of my favorites that's nearby here. There's several in Missouri that are just beautiful, but this is one of my favorites. I think, I think just getting out in nature it does something for us yeah you know it's just just being out that's where we're happy i think mm -hmm. you know just being out this whole thing of being cooped up it's been terrible at least for me at this point um we are going to locust creek bridge um historic site yeah so it's one of the four remaining there were five this is one of the four remaining covered bridges that's owned by missouri state parks um, this particular bridge was originally part of Route 8. That's no longer in existence. It was replaced by Highway 36. And it's one of the four remaining covered bridges. This one is, of the four, this one does not have water under it any longer. Locust Creek has since rerouted itself. So not only does this bridge no longer have a road, it no longer goes over water. So it's really unique. And it's one of, um, we haven't been to the other bridge, bridges, but of all of the uh, covered bridges that I've seen in other states. This one is my favorite because I just think it's really cool. It's like a bridge in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's kind of like it, it. It's part of home because we live so close. We to do it. live so close to it, but I think I mean just there's no like I said there's no road and there's no water. It's just a bridge sitting out in the middle of the woods. And and you can see kind of where the road would have gone, but it's just kind of neat yeah. because everything's so overgrown right. now that you can't. It's it's not there no more. No, no, it doesn't. Follow you know, anything. and just just to think, 
this was a one lane bridge. Yeah. You know, so, you know, it's not like two cars are going to pass in no. there. No. It's a really neat bridge. Of, yeah, we, and this we, is another one that we visit um, all four seasons. And if people come to visit, this is one of our favorite places to take people to, to see that's local around here. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put some pictures up on yeah. our Galleon Adventure page on Facebook of some of the other uh, seasons that we visit these places. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to share those pictures. This is just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous place to go visit. It's it's also nice to watch the video and relive the, the moments that you had yeah. whenever, you know. I, I don't know how to explain what it, I can... I can get the feeling that I have at that moment just looking it. back over mm -hmm. the videos and everything. Yeah. And that's a, that's what I like about our channel is we're documenting so many of these things. Yeah. And hopefully we can get inspire other people to get out and, and get in nature, mm -hmm. you know. But the, the, the bridge, that bridge is just amazing. We're going to show you some just pictures from... The um, hike that we did, just random pictures. This is the boardwalk um, going back to where we yep. started. So again, these were I... taken in May. And we'll have pictures of, of other times we visited both of these places. Pershing State Park and Locust Creek Covered Bridge. We'll post those to our page. We visited them in the fall and winter. I think I have both of those seasons, if not spring. I know I have those two seasons and I'll share those to our Galleon Adventures Facebook page, the, the fall of um, Pershing State Park in the fall is amazing. And there's another trail in Pershing State Park. It's a much shorter one, but it has several wooden bridges that cross over uh, little streams. And it's a really great place to take pictures too. Great place, uh, dog friendly. Yeah, they Very are. dog friendly. Yeah. Now, if you notice in some of these pictures, I am carrying a pack with me. I am training for an upcoming hike. And so I use this hike as a as a train as a training day, really. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. You gotta stay in shape. Yeah. That's important. We we needed to get out and do this hike. Uh, yeah. Need to get out and do more. Yeah, I gotta stay moving as much now as that's possible. The, in that last picture showed that observation area that you can Oh look good, at. yeah. So the boardwalk does have the and not only can you catch the riparian off of there. But in the middle of that uh, boardwalk trail, there is an observation tower. But if you get a chance, be sure to stop by per Pershing State Park and a covered bridge, which is right down the road mm -hmm. from each other. But um, that's what we got for this week. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week. Yep. Thanks for stopping by.